once the application is installed, an icon for the Kalis IVA will appear on your home page. Select the icon and the IVA application is launched. As the program is launched, it will begin scanning for devices in the area. Turn on any Kalis IVA devices you would like to connect to and as the application scans it will identify those serial numbers which are within range. To connect, once you identify the serial number you're interested in, press the sun icon and the connection process will begin. On the IVA, the indication the connection is complete will be that the flashing blue light for Bluetooth will become solid. In the application itself, connection is complete when the battery icon is visible. Additional details will be made available. If after a short period of time connection is not complete, you may press the sun icon again to stop connection. The failure indication means that for this particular device on the tablet that you're using, you will need to use the settings for the Bluetooth. Depending on how you access the settings, go into your Bluetooth. Currently the paired device is recognized. We'll go into the settings for it. and make sure that everything's appropriate. Going back, we'll turn the Bluetooth off and then back on, sometimes clearing the information. From this point, go back to the IVA application where now we can see all the previous devices that have been connected. Scan again. Connect to the device that you have with you. And again, all devices previously connected will be found. At this point, once connection is complete, the factory calibration will be loaded to the IVA. Once again, the advantage of the application is that once connection is made, it can pair with the device, it will upgrade any firmware, and additionally reload the factory calibration. From the screen, we now see that we are attached. The device needs calibration. We can show the details, and you can see the device is charging. The firmware version is 1.05, and the calibration date that the IVA was factory calibrated is 30 March 2015. We can hide the details and we'll proceed forward with the calibration.